top 10 things to do in Croatia. Croatians really like their wine. Croatia's climate actually is very sustainable for wine growth. They have very many wineries throughout the regions and different varietals of grapes to choose from. This varietal of wine is Plava Tamale. Most of their wines are white, but they've got a few reds and some rosés that we encourage you to go and do some tours of wineries while you're there. Scootering. You have to rent a scooter in Croatia. Best way to adventure and go get lost, meet random locals, get in small car accidents. Um, do it with a bunch of people. Don't do it alone, because if you fall, that sucks. Um, yeah, that's the best way to go see the city. Culture and architecture. Across the Andean Sea from Greece has a very similar feel and vibe, plus a heavy Eastern European influence. Boats are about as popular as cars because there are so many islands to go from one to the other. Havar Castle. On the top of a giant mountain, it takes about 20 to 30 minutes to hike up there. You make it to this beautiful scenic castle. There's cannons and ancient ruins and all these crazy cool things. Um, and it's an amazing way to see down at the rest of the island and look, overlook the ocean. Whitewater rafting. We went rafting down the Setna River. We didn't go too extreme, unfortunately, but there were seriously some areas that were badass. There are some places to do some sweet cliff jumping. We were told a story about a guy that jumped 150 feet and broke both his kneecaps. Don't jump from 150 feet. <laughs> Yachting. Croatia is a whole bundle of beautiful islands, and the best way to get through to each one is by yachts. Not little dinky boats, come on, you need the big monkeys. The big ones you can jump off and do double backflips and spray champagne on each other and have a little fleet of them and act like you're pirates. It's awesome. Nowhere else in the world is, do you feel such a boss as on the amazing seas with all of your friends and family and enjoying the yachts. Water sports, the Andean Sea. Croatia's got all sorts of boating and kayaking and jet skiing available to you and all of your friends. We played on water trampolines and acted like giddy schoolgirls. <coughs> Korchula Beach Bar. On the island of Korchula, there's a beach bar that's in a cave. It's a nightclub in a cave. Sorry. It's a nightclub in a cave. You walk on a beach and there's a giant cave and it has a bar inside it and a DJ booth at the back and it gets so hot. This place is about 300 degrees! Because it's already warm there, but you pile people inside a cave. But it's also a really cool experience. It's got glow sticks and it's just unlike any other bar you've ever been to. <laughs> so go there. Partying. You should definitely head over to the local liquor store and see what kind of a selection they have to party with. There are white parties, toga parties, beach parties, naked parties, uh, man thong parties, there are underwater dance parties that you should definitely not miss in Croatia, and sock parties. We're back in action, baby! Partying, Croatia's known for it. The world knows, Croatia knows, how to friggin' pate. You can go anywhere, party on the beach, party in a cave, party on a boat, party on a desk. We like to party. Unfortunately, we almost lost the GoPro a couple times on our Croatia trip. The last time was probably the most exciting one. We were at a big little, a well, big little, water park full of toys and jumpy things and bouncy inflatables. Uh, please subscribe up nya if you want to be cool, and then watch our video over at nya if you want to be also cool. You should do it, it's cool. So, we're jumping on trampolines and Rush and I decide we should have a race from one end of the park to the other and it wasn't really that far but you gotta climb and jump and we're obviously pushing and fighting each other along the way so it was a bit of a hassle. I was holding on to a GoPro stick and I was kind of filming ourselves as we raced along this course and at the very end there's a bit of a blob where you kind of jump onto and that's your little finishing point, at least that's what we made it out of ourselves. He jumped on my arm, I dropped the GoPro underwater and 20 minutes later we get our snorkel and stuff and as we're going down looking, can't really find it. A few meters off where I dropped it, I kind of figured maybe the waves had pushed it aside or something over the course of the 20 minutes that we were gone, not the case. A little friend decided to come by 
and grab my GoPro with these little tentacles and start glooping it around the floor. An octopus had literally found it while no one else was around and decided to try to drag it over to his cave somewhere. And so the story concludes of the GoPro and the octopus. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed your time as much as I enjoyed mine. That's the ticket. Know your limit. Play within it. Baby, out.